Welcome back to another video. It's been quite some time since we last saw my car. The car got hit on September 24th, and now it's November 19th, so a lot of time has passed, but we finally have an update from ICBC and Insurance, and the car is a total loss. Like, it's it's done. We're they're not gonna fix it, and that's it. So, yeah, big sad. And it's sort of frustrating how it took so long for insurance and ICBC to figure out what they were doing with my car. But the silver lining of that is we got a rental for the entire time. So that's pretty nice as opposed to only getting a rental for like a few days if they actually did a good proper job and figured out what they were doing faster. So now that's it. We go say our final goodbyes to the car and get all of our personal belongings out of the car. And that's it. That's going to be the last time we ever see this car. A car that I put so much blood, sweat, and tears into, and it all got lost within a few seconds after a woman just literally hit my car in a parking lot. I can't believe how that happens. So frustrating. Okay, let's go head out to uh, Fast Track Auto Body, who's, uh, who went to estimate the car, and say goodbye. So here's a car, big sad and damn. Uh, you poor thing, poor, poor thing. But um, that's it. Gonna go take off the roof bars from the car and all my other personal stuff. And that's it. That's all for this car. And now we mourn and just generally just be sad. Yeah, let's go take the stuff off and uh, say our final goodbyes. So it's been a few days since we said our final goodbyes to the car in the last clips and in those clips I realized that I said so yeah a lot. Well that's because those are my filler words that I use whenever I don't know what to do and right now I really don't know what to do. I'm just really sad and that car sort of meant a lot to me. That car was the first car I ever bought with my own money and I put my own time and effort into making that car look nice and I had a lot of really fun memories with all my friends through that car. I also got my first job out of uni through that car, but that's a long story that maybe we'll get into in another day, but yeah, just really sad to lose that car. So what happens now? Well, just fighting ICBC on how much money they're going to give me for the car and hopefully they value it close to what it's worth, although in my heart the car is priceless. But I'll try my best to get an actual reasonable amount and we can go from there and hopefully we're on to bigger and better things. So rest in peace E46 and I'll see you guys in the next one.